Hello and welcome to the channel. Right, today we're going to do a continuation on our thruster tutorials. As we noticed from the previous tutorial, we do have to have a gap, a clearance gap rather, for each thruster size. What we're going to do here is show how we can use that newly discovered clearance gap to our advantage when designing small craft. Now, the small thrusters here, we did discover that they require a three empty space clearance. So what we look at here is the landing gear. We want to count our spaces up to where we have three spaces of clearance. You can see there's our three spots there. So that means we need to have the thruster itself start right here. That will allow this thruster to elevate off of a surface such as the station here without actually damaging it. Next, of course, is to go ahead and do the opposite, which, in this particular ship design, we don't really need to concern ourselves too much with it. We'll put it here just to streamline the hull. And, of course, forward and reverse thrusters are also important. Obviously, the best spot here for a reverse thruster will be at this point. Then we've got to count forward. As you can see, we have three spots, which means you would put it there. So we put an armor spot here. And here, we reverse it, and then we have a thruster here. Now those two thrusters only have three spots between them. You do not need to make that a total of six when you have thrusters facing each other, because they will not in any way damage each other. What that will do, rather, is they will occupy the same space for the damage. Now and last, we just need uh, side thrusters, which we'll go ahead and just tack on on the bottom here, just to get basic design set up. Alright, go ahead and board the craft. And we'll do a tw quick little flight here. As you can see, that thruster is full power. Go ahead and turn. And it is not damaging the rear thruster. Now, at higher accelerations, your thrusters will automatically compensate when dampeners are on, and you just let go of your controls, basically trying to stabilize itself. There has been some questions from some of our readers as to if that will increase the damage range, and that is actually what we're going to test out right now. So we'll go ahead and accelerate this. Get up to about a hundred and then we'll stop it. All right, and here we go. So you can see the flame was a bit longer, so we'll get out. We will go ahead and equip a repair tool and take a look. And no, it is not prompting to repair. So even though that flame is a bit longer and the deceleration value is greater than it is if you had reversed it, it does not increase the damage range. As you can see, the reverse thruster also is not damaged from the continuous flight. So what this means is basically we can make a craft that does not apply any damage to its rear or any direction really, based on how you design it, allows it to be more compact in purpose, basically. You can uh, park other craft directly up against it in certain directions. Obviously, you'll need a slightly wider frame to make your side craft, your side thrusters rather, so they do not burn side craft. Alright, hope that video was helpful, and as always, have a good day.